Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Pierre Empelet, otherwise known as Pamboy, and this is your new favorite Fashion Week program. Whether you're part of the fashion nation or someone who pretends not to care about any of this stuff, this is your rendezvous during which we'll lift the veil. We are in the Palais de Tokyo, the heart of Paris Fashion Week, and we'll meet several actors of the fashion industry as the Spring Summer 2022 collections, menswear, are presented. I'm joined today by Spencer Phipps of Phipps and Kevin Nompix and Florentin Glemarek of Egon Lab. Hey. Hi guys, how are you? Being Good. <laughs> so first questions, let's get right into it. Um, how did you end up in fashion? Why fashion? Uh, well, I wouldn't say that I ended up in fashion because it wasn't an accident. It was definitely something that I made a decision that I, I kind of discovered I liked as a, I would say, early teenager, maybe around 12, 13. I was like, oh, there's, that's a whole industry. There's a whole world of that. And in hindsight, even being like very young, I was always like weirdly fascinated with clothing. You know, you just find objects like costumes and things are very specific about it. Were you making your own clothes when you were young? No, but I was very obsessed with like very specific things. Like I had this like Navajo belt that was like my favorite thing. I like had this cowboy outfit that was like I would literally wear to the grocery store. And you know, like strange things like that, that it, you know, in hindsight, it's like, oh yeah, maybe I was always kind of into fashion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? Alors moi, vraiment, tout ça a commencé en fait quand je suis entrée en agence, quand j'avais à peu près 16 ans. Mon tout premier défilé était un, un défilé comme des garçons et ça a été en fait une vraie euh, révélation pour moi parce que j'ai vraiment euh, compris en fait ce que c'était la mode et que c'était vraiment un médium parfait pour raconter quelque chose. Et euh, c'est vraiment à partir de ce jour-là que j'ai voulu euh, travailler dans la mode. Bah, moi, je pense que ça vient vraiment de ma, de ma grand-mère et ma mère. Quand ma grand-mère était euh, vers, très talentueuse euh, couturière, et ma mère a toujours aimé s'habiller, se rendre belle. Et euh, en fait, j'ai très peu connu mon père paternel. Et le fait d'être toujours avec elle, j'ai très rapidement été fasciné par le pouvoir qu'a la mode d'étendre en fait euh, sa personnalité et euh, de créer son propre personnage et devenir qui on a vraiment envie d'être. Et, et c'est en voyant le pouvoir de, de la mode que je me suis dit j'ai envie de faire ça et je veux permettre aussi aux gens euh, d'avoir cette chance de, de, de s'assumer et de s'accepter euh, à travers aussi les vêtements. Quick question, what's the role of a fashion designer in 2021? I, I mean, it, there's sort of two ways to look at that. I, you know, on a, what is the role of like a fashion business yeah. person? You know what I mean? That's then, you know, that's community building, that's sort of art direction and communication design. It's more than just the fashion designer and the garment making sense, which is a whole other right. thing of you know, using the techniques of clothing construction to sort of, I don't know, articulate the zeitgeist into, and make modern tools for people to then put on their bodies in the way that they communicate and the way that they dress. Aujourd'hui, être créateur pour nous, c'est vraiment euh, montrer un message, montrer un exemple. On essaye dans chacune de nos collections d'avoir un message d'amour, de, de tolérance, d'acceptation, d'acceptation, euh, et vraiment d'inclusivité aussi. C'est quelque chose qui est vraiment très important pour nous. Oui, parce qu'en en fait, je pense qu'être inclusif pour euh, une jeune génération, c'est plus simple à comprendre. Mais euh, ce n'est pas facile pour tout le monde ou ce n'est pas naturel pour tout le monde. Et en fait, euh, je pense qu'on est tous conscients qu est, que, que notre société a été construite autour d'un mythe où certaines personnes valent plus que d'autres. On a la chance euh, d'être invité euh, à ton talk show aujourd'hui. Donc c'est aussi notre devoir de pouvoir dire ces choses. Euh, diffuser ce message et détruire ce mythe. Parce qu'on est tous égaux et c'est vraiment ce que vont faire transparaître avec Egon Lab. Parce qu'on habille tous les âges, tous les genres, euh, toutes, toutes les formes de corps. En fait, on invite tout le monde à porter ce qu'ils veulent. Je suis d'accord. Je veux dire, que ce soit Phipps ou Egon Lab, vous avez été excellent avec nos castings et avec les différents types de corps et de formes et de couleurs. Donc, c'est génial. And, uh, you know, aside from diversity and inclusion, there was another big topic um, in fashion, which is sustainability. And every young designer and every big brand is trying to get there. Um, what does it mean to be a sustainable business for you guys? En fait, Egon Lab a toujours été une marque euh, sustainable, éco-responsable. On vise à créer des, des habits intemporels et qu'on imagine voyager entre génération et génération. C'est ce qui se passe aussi avec les grands-parents de, de Florentin. Euh, quand on les voit en photo, on peut s'inspirer de pièces et de les recréer. Et en fait, c'est ça, 
la vraie éco-responsabilité, c'est aussi de, de réduire les déchets mmh. et de faire vivre un vêtement, mais dans plusieurs générations. Mmh. Parce que si on ne fait qu'un vêtement qui est mode à l'instant T, euh, quand on le jette, c'est aussi un déchet et c'est aussi euh, néfaste pour notre industrie. First off, I want to kind of stop using the word sustainable because in fact, it's, that's like a nothing word. In the reality, like nothing is sustainable as, you're, as long as you're turning on a light. You're not a, you know what I mean? You're no longer a sustainable business. I like to use the words responsible or conscious or just like, you know, trying to do the right thing. And what we do at Phipps is, I mean, there's a multitude of things. There's a, our main collections are always used, you know, it's organic cottons, recycled nylons, things from sea plastics. We've introduced a vintage collection as part of the brand. Additionally, we do a lot of upcycling and, um, this season, especially we've really pushed that. We've worked with some factories using their dead stocks and scraps. We've got like a lot of, yeah, leather patchworks made from this atelier, like all little cutoffs they use or a very technical factory that works with like North Face and using their very, very technical fabrics to make these very durable outdoor pieces, but made using zero waste. Um, and even things like fun stuff, like old bike tires as belts and yeah. funny little pieces, you know, that are really special and fun jewelry made from trash bits. Yeah, just that kind of scrappy attitude, which I think is very survivalist and very Phipps in a way. Yeah, I guess if it completely fits your, your brand's aesthetic <laughs> and, and who you are. <laughs> um, before we jump into speaking about SS22, I want to ask you guys, who are your fashion heroes? Uh, when I was younger, I was like, yeah, it's Marc Jacobs, it's Alexander McQueen, it's Margiela, it's Galliano, it's like, you know, Tom Ford, it's Hedy Salman, you know, I mean, these big guys. But I think since starting the business, I have to say that like anyone who's made a business <laughs> and has like made a life from that, to be perfectly honest, you're like, do you know what? Props to you. It's a tough industry. Alors moi, c'est vraiment David Bowie parce que ça a été un, un pionnier dans, dans la mode euh, genderless en fait et c'est ce qu'on retrouve dans, dans notre marque vraiment ça, ça fait partie de l'ADN même de notre marque c'est vraiment une inspiration euh, aujourd'hui et une inspiration pour demain and uh, it seems to be you know in Paris kind of a resurgence of you know young talent and we're looking more at young talent rather than more established names um, in a way that it happens in London as well. So why did you guys choose Paris and why do you think Paris is the best place for you as young designers and young brands to evolve? Personnellement, moi je viens de province, je viens de Bordeaux. Donc euh, j'ai toujours rêvé de venir à Paris pour euh, bah, pour créer ma marque. J'ai la chance de la créer avec Florentin aujourd'hui. Et, euh, et être vraiment dans cette capitale de la mode, c'est une rayonnance euh, incroyable depuis, depuis la nuit des temps. La mode, c'est vraiment la, comme une chasse gardée de, de la France. C'est pour nous un honneur maintenant d'être, de faire partie de, du, de, la, de la Paris Fashion Week, d'être soutenu par la fédération, par le, par le défi, de voir qu'il y a un, un engouement autour, en, autour de notre marque. Et c'est pour ça que nous, dès, dès janvier prochain, quand on va pouvoir tous se réunir, Uh, on n'a qu'une envie, c'est vraiment de, de proposer un défilé physique pour vraiment proposer l'expérience uh, Egon Lab à, aux acheteurs, à la presse, mais aussi à toute notre communauté que, qui nous soutiennent depuis le début et même en période de, de, de pandémie. Je vais être très honnête, c'est une question que j'ai demandé à moi beaucoup récemment. Ce dernier an a été vraiment hard pour moi. Je ne suis pas français, je ne suis pas de ici. Je ne connais pas le système. And let's be honest, France is very, very difficult bureaucratically. Uh, and I'm sure as you guys know, running yeah. the business side of things is like, wow, yeah. wow, guys, you really did it. Um, <laughs> so the logistics side of it is definitely very, very big challenge for me. But um, the reason why I'm here and I still kind of fight through it all is because it is, I mean, come on, this is Paris Fashion Week. Right. You know, mm -hmm. we have the Federation here where this is like the center of the world in terms of creative design. And I think starting my brand in France, you know, as an outsider even and kind of doing what we're doing, which is, you know, not the most hardcore concept. You know, it's very like intellectually based, but it's it is, you know, uh, it makes us want to like step up our A game and right. put mm -hmm. your most creative work forward. And I think it's a really great hub, an international hub, because also people come here, you know, there's Japanese all show here. There you go, this crazy mix of stuff that you don't get, for example, in the US. Right, yeah, completely. I mean, I feel like Paris is a big melting pot when it comes to, to fashion, which is a great thing yeah. because it, mm -hmm. you know, encourages everyone to, to be at their best. Um, SS22, what do you guys want to tell me about SS22? You know, I mentioned earlier, there was this kind of survival spirit, which is something that's very, very much in the DNA of Phipps. Um, there was a book I read 
that was really interesting that was called King Warrior Magician Lover. And it was all about um, the study of human archetypes. What are these inherent characteristics that are in every person? And this one was specifically about masculinity, you know, which is not tied to gender for me at all. I mean, there's masculine females. I mean, it's just a sort of a mindset. Um, and it was a really interesting way for me to look back at my own history right. of what are these sort of eccentrics or individuals that have represented that and have helped me in my own experience uh, growing from a boy to a man, you know, because you take those souvenirs with you. Uh, and I wanted to, yeah, celebrate them. We've got, you know, motocross guys, punk kids, you know, just the people I've met along the way and you sort of mix and merge them. You've got like hikers, but it's stud, studded like a punk jacket or, you know, sort of mixing these human archetypes in ways that make a more modern expression of masculinity. And it sounds like a very fun process as well. Did it was fun really fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> what about you guys? SS22, tell me a bit more about the collection. Alors nous, nous, vraiment notre collection SS22, c'est une réponse à notre, notre ancienne collection qui était quand même vraiment plus sombre et dark, qui, qui montrait vraiment le climat dans lequel on était en période pandémique, vraiment un, un isolement. Et donc cette nouvelle collection est montrer un message vraiment positif, plein d'amour, plein d'espoir. On a envie de rencontrer des gens. Euh, on a vraiment envie de retourner à quelque chose de physique, faire des rencontres réelles. Et euh, on a vraiment beaucoup de symboles et de, de signification dans notre collection qui, euh, qui le montre. Et, euh... Je pense aussi qu'on euh, a, on garde tout le temps notre notre même ADN qui qui, qui vraiment dit euh, vraiment soyez qui vous voulez, soyez libre, soyez libre de penser, soyez libre de de tout, si vous êtes un, un homme, vous voulez porter une jupe, ou si vous êtes une femme et que vous voulez porter des, des vêtements qui sont considérés euh, pour des hommes, en fait, il faut juste être soi-même. Mmh. Euh, et on, on s'en fiche d'où on vient, de, de quelle nationalité, religion ou autre. En fait, ce qui est important, c'est qui nous sommes. Et le message aussi, c'est d'être libre et de ne jamais laisser personne nous dicter qui on est ou qui on devrait être. Et je pense que c'est le futur aussi de, de la mode, c'est de laisser les gens s'exprimer sans jamais les juger. I completely agree. Couldn't agree more. Um, <laughs> what do you think the future of menswear is? I don't know. That's and fair I, enough, because this question is always <laughs> a little bit weird. I mean, it's all, I, what I love about the future is that you don't have to know. I right. don't need to know what it looks like. You know, like, uh, I think this last year has taught me, like, anything past three months ahead is maybe let's just take it slow. Right. <laughs> I agree completely. Um, I want to ask you a personal question. What is the last song you've listened to on your phone? Um, Dynasty de Pablo Bozzi. Mm. Together? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? That is very, I don't remember what it was because it was on shuffle and I was taking a bath this morning. <laughs> uh, what was it though? It was something really nice. It was like a kind of classical thing. Oh. Was it like Beyonce, you don't want to say? Oh no, I was totally <laughs> saying it was Beyonce. No, 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 I, mean, I, had, I was tired this morning. I wanted to start the day with Beyonce. <laughs> um, well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to come here and speak with me. Um, I will see, obviously, your collection, Spring Summer 2022 menswear, and we'll see you again very soon, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you.